Hey guys, Jason here from the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Today we're uh, going after an old fuel barrel that my dad had at his place with intentions to turn this into a maple syrup evaporator. I've got a friend that lives up the road from me. The guy can design and build anything and it just totally amazes me every time I see some of the work that he produces. Anyway, he said if I could come up with an old fuel barrel and a stove door, he would be able to build me a maple syrup evaporator. So it's February and uh, the sun's got some power. We know that uh, the sap's gonna start running in the maples here very soon into March and we need to get ready for that. So I went to my dad's place and uh, picked up this old tank that he had. And as you could see, I had to literally bring it through the woods and over the hills from grandpa's house back to my place. Uh, but now we've got it in the yard and uh, we're, once the stove door comes, we're gonna load it up onto the trailer here and take it to my friend's house. Okay guys, so I just picked up some uh, angle iron for our maple syrup evaporator. I picked up about 30 feet of this uh, angle iron, it's quarter inch angle iron, it's two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And it cost me about $170 with tax. So um, the guy at the metal shop said that metal is going up because of the pandemic and uh, it sure is because that's just a small amount of metal on the back of the truck. But we've got it, so we're gonna get it back home and get ready for the fab. All right, guys, uh, we went over to my dad's place and we borrowed his Easy Haul trailer. I thought it'd be a lot easier than getting my big uh, firewood dump trailer all out of the ice and snow to make this little delivery. So what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, sling up that fuel barrel and uh, get it loaded on the trailer and strap it down and we're gonna deliver it up to my friend so that he can start making this awesome maple syrup evaporator for us. And uh, I'm gonna post a picture up here so that you can see what we're gonna try and make. And I don't know if it's gonna look exactly like that, but I really like that design that we pulled off of, uh, off of the internet. And I swear that my friend can build anything, so I'm expecting some really big things here. We'll see how it goes. That was easy. 
Those old fuel barrels aren't very heavy. I just thought that I would uh, use the cram and log loader just to save my back and make things easy this morning. And it's nice to operate equipment, I can't lie. I've only got to go about three kilometers up the road, so I think that's going to be perfectly fine to get us there. And nothing to it. We've got the barrel off, we've got the uh, angle iron delivered, we've got the welding rods there. We're just waiting for the Amazon delivery for the stove door, but uh, now there's nothing stopping my friend from starting to build the maple syrup boiler for us. As soon as he gets uh, far enough along so I can determine how big the stainless steel pan needs to be. I'm gonna to go to another uh, friend that runs a metal shop and see if he can build me a stainless steel pan uh, with a nice little uh, drain valve on the side of it. So um, it should look like quite a nice outfit and it should work very well when we get it all finished. So this is a little different video than what uh, we normally do. And uh, you know, we did one yesterday on getting our squash seeds ready to go for spring. Uh, it's all things that have to be done when you're living in the country and you want to take advantage of, uh, of the surroundings. So if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends, help us grow the channel, and uh, come back in and check on us often because you never know what the Oak Mountain ACOTs are going to be up to next. We'll see you in the next one.